Hello everybody, this is Satoshi Agi. Thank you for coming to our session. Today, I'd like to talk about our new programming paradigm, pattern match oriented programming. First, let me explain our motivation. How do you answer to the question, what is the delete function? Most people answer like this. The delete function removes the first appearance of the first argument value from the second argument list. However, this standard functional style definition is not the actual translation of this answer. There is a gap between our explanation and the definition of the function. This gap can be filled by the pattern match facility that we proposed in 2018. This pattern match facility supports user extensible nonlinear pattern matching with backtracking. This pattern match facility is implemented in our programming language Egison. Here is the definition of the delete function in Egison. List equal is an object called matcha. A matcha specifies how to interpret the pattern. Dara hs plus plus sharp x colon colon dara ts is a pattern that splits the target list into the initial prefix, the next element, and the remaining suffix. The join pattern splits the list to the initial prefix and the remaining suffix. The cost pattern decomposes the list to the initial element and the rest. Dara hs and dara ts are pattern variables. Sharp x is called value pattern and matches if the target is equal to x. As a result, this pattern decomposes the target list into the prefix before x and the suffix after x. Here, we list the two definitions of the delete function. The latter program is similar to our explanation. Especially, the recursion is confined in the pattern. We call the programming style that utilizes non-deterministic patterns pattern match oriented programming. We call pattern match oriented programming PMOP in short. In this research, we aim to clarify what is PMOP by showing PMOP examples we have found so far. Today's presentation is organized like this. So far, I have explained our motivation. Next, we will see features specific to PMOP languages. Third, we will introduce PMOP design patterns. We classify programming techniques in PMOP as PMOP design patterns. Then, we will see how PMOP changes programming in practical situation. Then, let me introduce the features of a PMOP language. In this presentation, we demonstrate PMOP using our language Egison. Egison was originally designed for concise descriptions of algorithms with non-free data types, such as math sets, graphs, and mathematical expressions. Egison has achieved this mission by using extensible nonlinear pattern matching with backtracking. This diagram shows the history of pattern matching. After Basto invented pattern matching for algebraic data types, several pattern match extensions are proposed. User extensibility of patterns is a feature that allows users to customize pattern match algorithms for each pattern. Nonlinear patterns are patterns that allow multiple occurrences of the same variable in the pattern. Pattern matching with multiple results is an important feature for handling non-free data types such as math sets. Egison appears as a pattern match system that fulfills all these three features. Not only that, Egison supports several new features. Here is a list of features of our PMP language Egison. I will introduce these features in this presentation. The first two features are already introduced in our previous paper. The last two features are introduced in our new paper. First, let me explain nonlinear pattern matching with multiple results. Nonlinear patterns are represented using value patterns. Value patterns begin with a sharp sign. Value pattern allows us to refer to the value bound to the pattern variables that appear in the left side of the pattern. Here, we demonstrate a pattern that matches when the elements of the target pair are identical. The first expression succeeds in pattern matching because the elements of the target pair are identical. The second expression fails in the pattern matching because the elements of the target pair are different. Nonlinear patterns are very powerful when combined with match all. Match all is our pattern match equation that corrects all the pattern match results. Here we demonstrate a pattern that matches twin primes in the infinite list of prime numbers. Dara p matches a prime number in the infinite list of prime numbers. Shall p plus 2 pattern matches the next prime number. If the next prime number is p plus 2, it succeeds in pattern matching. Next. Let me explain the ad hoc polymorphism patterns by matchers. 
we can change the way of interpreting patterns by changing matches. We call this feature ad hoc polymorphism of patterns. In all these samples, the same cons pattern is used, but the meaning of the cons pattern changes by matches. If the list matcher is used, the cons pattern decomposes the list into the initial element of the rest. If the match set matcher is used, the cons pattern decomposes the list into the element and the rest. If the set matcher is used, the cons pattern decomposes the list into the element and the target list as a whole. This interpretation of the cons pattern for sets is natural if we regard that each element of a set has infinite multiplicity. Ad hoc polymorphism patterns are not only for constructor patterns, but also for value patterns. Here, we pattern match a list 1, 2, 3 with the value pattern 2, 1, 3. If we use the list matcher, the pattern match fails because the order of element is different. If we use the match set matcher, the pattern matching succeeds because the match set does not care about the order of elements. Next, let me explain two syntax construct match all and match all DPS that are prepared for controlling the order of pattern match results. Match all is implemented to traverse a search tree in the breadth first order, whereas match all DPS is implemented to traverse a search tree in depth first order. We can see the difference between these two expressions when we use them for enumerating pairs of natural numbers. Much or enumerate all the infinite pairs of natural numbers. However, much or defense enumerate only the pairs whose first element is 1. There are cases that much or can enumerate the pattern matches that, that much or defense cannot. Here we demonstrate enumeration of prime pairs whose form is p and p plus 6. When we use much or defense for this pattern matching, P is fixed to the first prime number 2 and goes into an infinite loop. Next, let me introduce the built-in patterns of Edison. Edison supports several special built-in patterns. Not patterns are one of these built-in patterns. Here, we demonstrate a pattern that matches when the element of the target pair are not identical. Not patterns are represented using an exclamation mark. With a pattern after exclamation mark based pattern matching, Pattern matching succeed. Let me introduce another built-in pattern, loop patterns. Loop patterns are used for representing repetitions of patterns. The match or expression above enumerates two combinations of natural numbers. x underscore 1 and x underscore 2 in the patterns are called indexed pattern variable. Our language supports pattern variable with indices. Pattern variable with indices are as to change the number of pattern variables in the pattern by parameters. We can generalize this match or expression using loop patterns. The match or expression below enumerates any permutation of natural numbers. The loop pattern takes four arguments, an index variable, index range, repeated pattern, and a final pattern. The index variable moves the range that the index range specifies. When the index variable is in the index range, the repeated pattern is expanded. Three dots in a repeated pattern is expanded to the repeated pattern, incrementing the count bound to the index variable. When the index variable is out of the index range, the final pattern is expanded. In the paper, we show more built-in patterns, and patterns, or patterns, and sequential patterns. Please see the paper for these patterns. Next, let me move to part 3. Part 3 introduces several programming patterns that often appear in PMOP. In the paper, we classify the patterns that frequently appear in PMOP into four design patterns. The first design pattern is join cons patterns for list. Many list functions can be defined using join cons patterns. Here we define map, lm, and delete. lm is a function that determines whether the second argument list contains first argument element. By nesting join cons patterns, we can describe more non-trivial patterns. We can define the concat function as a unique function by nested join cons pattern. The concat function can be defined using nested join cons patterns for list of list. The unique function can be defined by combining a not pattern with a nested join cons pattern. This pattern describes that x does not appear again after x. As a result, the pattern variable x matches only the last appearance of the element. The next design pattern is cons patterns for match set. Join cons patterns for list enumerate combination of elements. 
whereas cons patterns for match set enumerate permutations of elements. Cons patterns for match set are often used for describing mathematical algorithms, which show an example in part 4. The next design pattern is the tuple pattern for comparison. Tuple patterns can be used for comparing multiple data. Here, we demonstrate tuple patterns by defining the intersect and difference function. Next, let us introduce loop patterns. Loop patterns are more powerful when combined with nonlinear patterns. This pattern match expression can be used for solving traveling salesman problem. This pattern enumerates all routes from London that visit all cities exactly once and return to London. In the paper, we show an example of loop patterns for graphs and trees. Next, let us see how PMP changes programming in practical situations. PMOP allows programmers to focus on writing the essential part of an algorithm by distinguishing two types of computations. Two types of computations are backtrackable computations and essential computations. Backtrackable computations are computations that can be implemented in backtracking algorithms. Essential computations are computations that are essential for improving the time complexity of algorithm for solving a problem. In traditional programming, we describe both computations by recursive functions and mix them in programs. In PMOP, backtrackable computations are confined in patterns, and recursive functions are only used for describing essential computations. This distinction improves the readability of programs. We see how PMOP changes programming by seeing the implementation of a SAT solver. A SAT solver determines whether a given proportional logic formula has an assignment for which the formula evaluates true. For example, the formula in the middle of the slide has a solution p equals false, q equals true, and r equals true. In bit formulae for such solvers are often in conjunction with normal form. We often encode literals with integers. For example, literal p is represented by 1, and the literal not p is represented by minus 1. A formula in conjunctive normal form can be treated as a match set of match sets of integers. We implement the Davis Putnam algorithm. Davis Putnam algorithm is the most basic algorithm for solving the SAT problem. Davis Putnam algorithm consists of two rules for simplifying an input formula one literal rule and pure literal rule. So, one literal rule is a rule that claims that when the target formula has a cross with a single literal, we can assign the literal true immediately. The pure literal rule is a rule that claims that when a proportional variable appears only positively or negatively, we can assign the variable true or false immediately. Here is a program that implements Davis Putnam algorithm in OCaml. And here is a Davis Putnam algorithm implemented in Edison. In PMOP, we pattern match the input formula as a match set of match sets of integers. This match clause describes the material rule. This pattern matches when the input formula contains a clause with a single literal. This match clause describes the pure literal rule. This pattern matches when the negation of literal x does not appear in the rest of the input formula. In traditional functional programming, we describe the conditions for one literal rule and pure literal rule by composing list functions that way. PMOP allows programmers to describe patterns for a match set of match set directory. It allows us to remove complicated function compositions from a program. In this implementation of the SAT software, DP is the only recursive function. The application of the one literal rule and the pure literal rule are the only essential computations in this algorithm. Finally, let me summarize today's talk. First, we advocated a new programming paradigm, PMOP, that confines recursions in patterns. PMOP improves the reliability of programs by distinguishing two kinds of computations, backtrackable computations and essential computations. PMOP derives several non-standard language constructs, such as match or DFS, not patterns, and loop patterns. Second, we classified PMOP techniques as PMOP design patterns. These programming techniques were found thanks to the effort of many Edison programmers over a long time. Edison was released in 2011. Since then, many friends have tried Edison and found various techniques in Edison. I would like to thank them here. That's today's topic. Thank you for your attention.